Hello everyone, I'm Natalia here and we're gonna have some test. We will test it out some tools. Um, if you didn't see my unboxing, I will link it up for you in this video. But this is all came from one store and I did unboxing review. So we're gonna put this to the test and here is the diamond painting that we will, will work on it. This is Star Wars. Here you go. So this beautiful drills, uh, they didn't came with the bags so I have obviously a whole bunch of extra bags. So I will put them in the bags. Uh, I don't know if you want to join me for kitten up and get ready to work and then we will see how this um, light board work and use some of these tools so let me set my camera in good position and we can start all right i believe his name is yoda grumpy green creature i don't know who he is uh, I don't watch the movie. So first I'm gonna use, and you already saw this tool in few of my videos. And what I'm gonna do, first it's very good visible for you. I have uh, rivers of air under clear sheet. Not in a canvas, just in a clear sheet. So I'm gonna straighten up because after unboxing I straighten up, I roll them back just to keep them organized before I'm ready to work on it. So here is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use this tool because this is multi-purpose tool. Uh, you saw me even up my drills with this tool. Also, this is perfect tool to kinda smooth it out air under canvas. And I'm gonna do from this side as well. And then guys, I'm gonna put my beads into the baggies. So if you wanna stay with me, that would be amazing. If you have something else to do and you wanna join my video later, you just, um, you know, stroll forward when I gonna start to test it out some other tools. So I really, really love this tool because uh, as comfortable it is to even up the canvas also this is amazing tools and i already tested out to even up beads after i already drilled them so this work amazing and because this is like white so you can mm, like cover lots of beads at the same time and do nice straight row um, also you can just put and hold and then drill to make it like a line for yourself especially uh, if you want to start like on a very edge so first line straight that would be great work as well um, so this tool we already tested out and I love it and uh, now what's in here I already test this roller on many of my diamond paintings after I finish it works absolutely awesome as well um, it's even work better than my wood one that I have now we will try to test this tray that I never tested yet uh, the only thing is going to be difficult to pour back in the bags because doesn't have an opening slot for the drills to come in out. So that's going to be only a problem. And this little tool work as same as well. Very nice to do your beads a little bit straight enough to, to make them lines straight. And also what I'm really excited about. Uh, because the rest of the tool kind of same thing. Wow, okay. This Visor, I just poked my finger. It's plastic, but it's really, really sharp. Okay, we will test that as well when we're gonna drill. But what I really want to try it's this one tool. I want to see how much beads it's well picked. I think this one probably six or maybe seven, 
and this one could be nine so I want to see how this one gonna work because it's so thin I don't know if this is gonna be even comfortable or not because you can tell um, look how much thinner this orange tool is but it is something different and pretty color so I'm gonna put this right now away tools and I will do my beads I will put them into the baggie first so I'm just gonna do this way I have a whole bunch of bags I should open my window a little bit more maybe I love to work by my window and it's lots of light okay which one tray I should leave my white tray in here but that's okay I might don't even need this tray I don't know we'll see so let's start I'm gonna kick it up okay this is only 22 colors I believe in here let me pick a bowl again yes 22 colors so I really want to try and see um, how this diamonds will look like on a canvas guys because I have three diamond paintings from this company um, from this particular seller so we want to see how this gonna work I'm gonna start from number one right in here I know lots of noises in my bag so I'm gonna open bag first and let me see if we can zoom sometimes I'm getting off the camera Okay, I'm making a lot of shadow. Why do I do that? Um, let me try different angle. I don't know why it's so much shadow all of a sudden. I don't know if this is better or not. Okay, so this diamonds doesn't have a DMC code. So what I'm gonna do? The only they have in here it's this numbers like number one and then it's going to be number two Th this is not DMC code this is some kind of code I don't know what's what that mean um, so we're just gonna cut it out like this so I have a number one the whatever is the rest of the number it's not important because it's all the same number on all bags so we're gonna have to after I finish this diamond painting I will have to look for the DMC code so we'll have to use my DMC catalog book to make sure I uh, put them on the right bags after I finish this diamond painting and most important what I want to check about this company it's do we have enough drills or not do we have lots maybe leftovers that would be amazing so that's why we're gonna test it out quickly and I have a whole bunch of kids guys um, kinda started and doing little by little uh, review that you've been waiting for so finally I finished already my rainy day diamonds that was beautiful and now we're gonna do this one and please check out their store I will link it up always check for the links under the video The drills is really pretty. This bag's interesting. I don't remember with which diamond painting I've received these bags, but look how long they are. 
usually they square kind of almost this one is long and really sturdy plastic I wish I would remember um, oopsie almost made mistakes see I'm talking and I did not put number in a baggie that's what happened when you distracted guys you distracted me <laughs> all right I have to really pay attention Okay, now I'm gonna give you a hint which some of you my lovely followers who follow me on Instagram you probably saw interesting post up there that I will have a giveaway yes why not giveaway for no reason how about that just because it's summer so why don't we have some giveaway so let me, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a separate video about this, but just a heads up. So if you're not my subscriber yet, please subscribe so you don't miss the fun part. I do giveaways often on my channel because you are so awesome. I have to keep up with you and I love to do giveaways. Makes me feel good. Because you are also special to me. I love read your comments. Make me happy. Five. Okie dokie. We have one more bag of five. Let's not make mistake. And put right away to the same bag. It's uh, We don't know DMC code for this one. Because we all know this is 310. 310 and I'm just gonna show you this 310 guys I'm gonna pour them in my container I think it's 310 unless it's some kind of brown but I think it's 310 or maybe 900 what is it 39 like dark brown I don't know not sure see it looks black to me right now but it could be different I mean I don't know Looks like 310, but it could be not. I wish that would be a DMC code. That's only I would suggest um, to this company to put DMC code instead of numbers. You make la life much easier for crafters later not to look for the, you know, try to guess what kind of DMC that would be. They should always put DMC. But they are beautiful beads though. I am not complaining and I'm look forward to create this diamond painting because um, I don't know if that's the same size or not. I saw somebody uh, create this diamond painting already in my group and I really love it. It looks amazing. If you cut in your numbers six and nine, make sure you underline them. Uh, in this example, I have like letters and number next to them, so I know for sure this is six. But if that would be just number, I would underline to know that this is six, not nine. Otherwise, it could be big trouble and that's the very very good tip for beginners to make sure you do that otherwise you can mix it up colors and it's so not fun to take them off later off your canvas and try to fix it it just frustration will come if you have to do that i did once uh, my little girl catch me doing a wrong color on a different symbol 
and thankfully I didn't finish all the way to the end when she stopped me saying mom I think you're doing a wrong and I'm just like oh my god thank you so much for catching up and I already placed probably like 200 beads or so it was painful that was my horse's canvas the horses running through the water that they did long long time ago and one of the video guys is they I was showing the horses canvas it went bonkers it went viral I have close to 1 million views and that's the most view video I have the other highest view I have um, like I don't remember how many thousands of you but this one is close to 1 million and if I remember I will link it up that video in here and if you can go and look and tell me why that video went so viral because in my opinion I did not do anything differently that I do right now and I try to figure out why and I can't so if some of you with fresh eye maybe will see the video it's not long video so you can watch from the be beginning to the end it's a short video but I don't understand why it's so viral and when I was on vacation all of the sudden I see that people just go crazy up there comment talking to each other and I was like wow I didn't apply to any sites to be like you know sometimes people looking for um, a fake followers fake comments I did not do that because I like my followers almost say flowers I like my followers to be genuine and real not moderated something so I thought wow what's going on what happened to this video that all of a sudden comments just like wouldn't stop and to this day I've received comments on the video and I don't know why it's so viral so maybe some of you with fresh eye can tell me why so go ahead and watch the video I will link it up and then you can tell me what did I do different back then than I do now that would be fun to hear your opinion oh I have such a hard time yesterday to upload my video uh, that you already watched actually but my computer just wouldn't edit for me I was trying to edit the video like four or five times and just keep loading loading it's like 99% done and all of a sudden the boom and stop oh I was so frustrated because it takes so long time and I just wanted to be done and I promised that my video will be go live and every time seems like I promise when my video will be next day my computer go cuckoo and just try to sabotage my video seriously <laughs> my computer sabotage me how about that? Lots of greens in here. I just glad that this drills not static at all. You see how easy they go into the baggy? I have lots of pre-recorded uh, episodes of videos that I need to edit and just schedule for you guys to watch. 
I started kind of on many new canvases. Try to do fast, not to board you. Okay. So just to speed up, I'm gonna open a few baggies at a time. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut gorgeous 12, number 12. Oh, I wish there would be DMC code on them. Many of my containers are still with beads because I have lots of project on the go and uh, I'm just trying to kind of finish them one at a time. Um, I do still have lots of um, containers available. I just don't want to mess up right now with the markers or labels. This one kind of fast. And take a less space off my desk because bags are flat and kind of easy to store them. Just put on a little plastic container that I have from dollar store. Or even the awesome containers that I share with you guys from the medicine bottles. Did you see that one? With the coffee rotator. One of my favorites. I love that one. Any request, please leave a comment about some future video or maybe uh, you saw some of the my unboxing and uh, you want me to continue on some of those canvases because uh, I do have this humongous one with jam that I started and then I was catch up with some other product that I need to review. So you know guys sometimes as much as I wanted um, to do some different diamond paintings but also I take my YouTube really serious so I consider this as my job I would say and if somebody send me product for free to review um, I kinda I feel like you know I am responsible to do uh, as fast as possible to put out there my word about them do I like it or I don't like it or maybe something wrong just to show you about the company and what they have so uh, so far well they just ask for one review right but I did unboxing for this company I did my video review but also I would love to do review as work in progress not because uh, they send me and I have to. No, I absolutely don't have to because I already did my video review. 
but I want this to do for you so you can see if this gonna look good or not and if you decide to uh, order that that would be nice to know you know my opinion and my opinion is always honest and I will tell you if something is going wrong or or is nothing wrong so if this is good I definitely will, will recommend right so that's why I try to kind of catch up with those projects that I should say or uh, you want me to do like lots of you guys were asking me to do those sparkles gems first because you wanted to order and you wanted to see how this look like an end product after it's completed so you can tell me in the comments did you, did I reach your expectation with the finished project I did once video on the end of the year about finish uh, diamond painting of 2018 so I'm just thinking I probably will do same thing finished project of 2019 so I'm not gonna like uh, do every month report what I'm doing usually I when I finish I show you right away but also I realize it's nice to have all video there's a big plastic in here let me pull this out mm. it's a big plastic piece so also uh, I do like I'm not gonna do monthly report what I'm done what I'm not but I definitely will do one at a time as I finish and then I like when all of them in one place so on the end of the year I will do again same video of finished project for 2019 and link it up video of finished project of 2018 so that way all my finished canvases will be in one place and you can always check them out and they have a links to the store all over Amazon, AliExpress and other websites so you can choose what you like okay guys this was my last bag I got them all in a baggie and now we will try probably drill a little bit so I will get back to you alright it's 9.30 at night and I think we're gonna test it out right now this canvas and right now is a perfect time to test our light board as well because uh, I don't have any more sunshine from the window so it will be good to see how this uh, light board will work for our canvas so first my um, initial thinking was to start with number one which is F's but because I want to test as well this new pen um, I don't have too many of S so I'm not going to be able to use multiplacer to try on so I decide to go for the H hold on let me get in the camera uh, this white color so in here at least it's more symbols so we can see better uh, how this gonna work with this multiplacer but to be honest I I was gonna pick darker color instead because that way uh, you would see better icons of the dark color instead of white white we can see already right uh, but first let's just test this out and then um, I'm gonna show you like right now for example let's say we want to work on dark color so let's see how this uh, light board would work so it has three settings one two three so let me zoom back close up you see how good um, let me turn it off right now 
and now we have left only with the overhead light uh, let's just say I'm gonna put my light a little bit close to the canvas as you can see on camera it's nice and bright for me it's a little bit it's still I can see very well but it's darker so um, that's why when you have a darker uh, pattern on your canvas it's better to use actually light board um, and let me just turn this one two three and then I will turn off my night table let's see what happened then I'm gonna turn this off and see if this really not much change so I think with this one you can work for example if your family already sleeping and you don't want to disturb anybody with the light so this way just this light board will work wonderful for you so I don't know um, let me I guess oh uh, let me try something guys because this is kind of important I have right now two of this light boards and one of them for example this one I'm gonna put canvas okay here is the put light okay here is the button of the switch on and off so sometimes when I put for example if I have a bigger canvas size and I put canvas on the top this one kind of okay because this is little canvas um, but in other with heavier diamond painting it would turn off my board because the it was like really really sensitive so this one actually work okay unless I pick wrong board no I think this is the one um, so yes one two three and I put on the top if I rub yeah it's turn it off but it is working so sometimes it's sensitive when you have already diamond paint and with the beads and it's heavy when I put on a button switch on and off it would turn off the um, light and um, the other one light board would I have to press a little harder to actually turn on so it's different I guess settings different sensitivity so okay let's try to do a different way zoom out and I'm gonna turn it off right now this board because I think we can see very well I'm gonna put my drills in here we're gonna try this brand new tray for the first time and I'm gonna shake it up it's easier around beads easy to shake the way the grid go longer way first and then I put a little bit to the side and just tap it and it's ready okay so let's try our drill I don't even know how many in here supposed to be a stick to it so I'm gonna move to make comfortable for us and I wanna see how many beads will stick to this side I think it could be seven or six to be honest so let's check it out I think one more bead could stop uh, so far oopsie where's the camera where's the camera oh my god that's crazy okay one two three one two three four five six and I think there's one more could stick up there I just didn't catch it so let me put them back on the tray I might be didn't put enough wax in here and I'm gonna try one more time no it's still six okay so six um, let me try oh that would be crazy I didn't open canvas 
there. That's why I like clear sheet. You can see what you're doing. Okay. The one question is if I'm going to do straight or not. Okay. Our first row line up. I still think that I don't have enough wax on another side. Let me get a little bit more because for some reason I believe it should stick seven beads, not six. Usually seven. So let me try again. And sorry my puppy running around. It's late. And he's Okay, no guys, it's still six beads. You see that? So let's try again. Boom. Um, now, if you remember, I do not like to work with multi placer because it's not always line up beads straight. If I can zoom you can probably see that it's not very straight so let me try now just a minute let me try how many gonna stick on this side and for me to work with multi-placer guys it feels like it's take a longer time to put beads in here then try to lighten up, I would be done already a few times with my placer with one and three. But just for curiosity, I want to count how many beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the bigger side is nine beads. Let's see if we can put them nicely on our canvas. And I will try to do here walking technique. I'm gonna put my bead on the first symbol and then I'm gonna walk. I missed one. Okay, it looks like I did not bad in here. I see a little bit peekaboo, but that's why we have the straighten tool for later. Let me try one more time. I'm going to pick beads. No, no, no. I want to do the bigger one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, so nine. So six and nine beads. I'm going to place on my first symbol and walk there let's see what do you think okay sorry uh, for this moment I can zoom more close but it, it looks good right looks good but I still like to work with the single placer um, like round drills it's not bad yet you kind of can manage but square would be much harder to do this one I did not do good so I have to fix all this row I guess that's gonna take me time to fix it so guys, as I said before, I do not like multi-placer and I see already how my... Uh oh, okay, don't do that. I just drop my tool on the top of the tray with beads and beads jump out of the tray a little bit. And that's what happened. See, now I have to pick it up, beads in here. From the tray so yes like I like the um, it's good tray it's probably gonna be difficult right now to uh, put them inside of the bag and to be honest I'm gonna try it because 
that's what we're doing today we are testing the tools okay so I catch the beads that it's fall all over so what I want to do now okay I want to see how this is holding up if I put in here it drop you hold it if you want to uh, move together with your tool um, to be honest like this one orange particular um, I, I assume with for people who has uh, arthritis and problems with the wrist this is too thin the pink one even pink one is thin but it's much uh, more thicker around than this orange one this orange one is too thin and after a while um, your thumb your wrist you will feel it it will hurt so I do not like this pen and I will work with the pink ones so now I just want to see like the bits line up in here let's check now shake it up a little bit this way I don't know the grids go okay and you can fill in here lots of beads I like this tray uh, now the question is how we're gonna put them back into the bag because unless we're gonna like bump it on a on the back of this tray to let beads go down mm, no like see this tray if you want to do this kind of work I don't think this is gonna be good because see like it's sticking everywhere so I don't like this way it's hard to put beads back into the bag so um, my favorite tray still would be white with opening uh, and we do have the tray in this set of tools so you can use this tray maybe for your pieces that and you see the the bead up there on the corner stuck so hard that I it's, can't even pull out um, my mail opener so yeah I'm getting a little bit trouble so guys uh, I'm trying to be as honest as I can this tray is not for me to do drills but I would definitely use for something if I would decorate maybe a, okay this is was painful job and my beads still stuck in here feels like beads bigger size than grooves I don't know maybe this grooves belong to 2.5 uh, millimeters beads and this particular beads probably 2.8 so no um, this two tools for me can work in some different project but definitely not for diamond painting um, the light pad or light board really do good job and you can see how dark in here and how bright in here I do recommend this board and it's light it's very thin if you want to take with you uh, to travel so I like it I do like it seriously this is good but I will work with my pink tools that we have from the set and I will go grab it give me a sec all right i'm back guys so i'm gonna put these tools back in this container um or this packaging it is nice gift set and we're gonna say sorry to white container and we're gonna work with it also i want to try now this tweezers they came with this set of tools so I'm gonna pour same color of beads now on this tray and then 
I want to see if we can work actually with the tweezers to place beads with them. So let's just shake it. We have one blue drill sneak in here. Okay, so let me first fix this lines of beads and let me I still didn't figure out what is better for you to see this way maybe just for now okay so I want to try to use I'm not gonna use this big tool because obviously um, we don't have enough beads here but um, this package has also this little uh, tiny yellow so I'm going to try this yellow tool and I will try to straighten up because my beads is really not straight. I don't know if this is possible to show you because probably going to be out of zoom. If I keep a canvas straight like this, uh, you see how my drills right now is kind of like a dancing. It's more mostly like it's straight this way. But if I would line up in them this way, they are not straight. You see that? So this is what I want to try and see if we can use this tool. So I'm going to first place like this to push them kind of over. Oh, and now I'm gonna try just do like this and see what's gonna happen. It's really fast, and I don't know. Okay, look now, guys. You think you think now it's look better? I think now it looks really good. So it definitely, I think it's a good layer for you a little bit, but definitely good. This, this tool is good. So I do recommend this tool as well. So as this big one, this one is just great for the canvas when it's all finished and line up all at once. For a little section, this one tool will do. So let's try now. We're going to work with this little tiny and... Let me get on camera. I'm going to zoom a little bit more close. And we will try if we can place round beads with this tweezers. Okay. So let me try it. I don't know how this is going to work. If this is going to work. Oh, one jump. I guess I squish maybe too hard. So let me see the other one. It definitely you can do if you can use in a checkerboard position. You can use this. All right. But it take a little longer because you're trying to not to squish too hard and beads would jump. But definitely you can work with it. So now I'm gonna do with my one placer as I always do and this is one of my favorite tool and it's guys make work so much faster and so much easier just like that. Okay and then we would just straighten up on the end. So let's do a little bit. So some tool I approve, some tool um, not necessary. Um, I like they do have in this kit. Um, let me close now. So I do like this light board. Okay, now I turn. I like this light board. I like this pink tools from this set. Um, I like this tools. They are great. 
the drills itself in this canvas is awesome um, now this tool I would use only and you can see this one pink one I put beads away this pink uh, this blue tray and pink pen will fit more tight so it wouldn't fall out you see it's more designed I think for this one because if you put this orange one it would definitely will fall out okay so uh, this is definitely fit better this one you can use for some different purposes or let your kids play so yes pink one still my favorite this one I don't like it it's too thin it will hurt your wrist now this tool is amazing and I'm using it right now all the time this roller is must have guys really really good tool when you finish your diamond painting and especially for the square diamonds to press them really good so they all stick to the canvas flat and you don't have this popping situation so this is great also I like they they put um, lots in this uh, lots of uh, woo, how you call them come on labels there you go now as you can see there's a uh, same thing multiplacer I think this one is bigger than the other one yes I think this one white one can grab 10 or even 11 and a 3 and 1 so yes and just a case itself like this um, pouch it's nice you can have a gift you know so yes uh, most of the end they have a lots and lots of wax so um, I do agree on the rest of these tools that only some of them you can use for different purposes so guys now I'm just gonna drill a little bit by myself and I will continue this canvas with you um, tomorrow morning when it's gonna be sunshine and you will see a little bit better I just waited till it's dark this one is good probably to pick up some fibers maybe or some bed uh, drill maybe you have to unstick to pick it up but it is sturdy and it's really really sharp sharp you can see how thin edges and it's go together kind of like very very close you see that okay so I'm gonna continue because it's dark right now to work and so you can see good but tomorrow on a daytime I will show you a little bit more of the canvas how much I done and then we can drill a little bit together and have fun and chat okay so I will see you there Alright my lovely crafters, it's morning next day now and I just want to tell you that I used this light pad last night um, to put some diamonds on darker spots. It was really really helpful so I do recommend if you don't have any light board. Um, this is really good and it's like it's so thin as you can see. Really good stuff. So this is really good help at night when you don't want to use overhead light but since we have a morning and I have a lots of good light uh, I'm gonna work for now just with my overhead uh, light and because kind of sunshine did not hit my window very well yet so it's kind of a little bit darker but I hope it's you gonna have enough um, light so you can see what I'm doing here and here it is as you can see I work always by the color and somebody just recently asked me how I did my birds uh, diamond paint and yes I do work by the colors and here is what I done so far 
uh, last night and this morning a little bit as you can see I did not strain them out we're gonna do this all together this is only as I place without any fixing so so far it's not bad as you can see the drills is really sparkle they are good quality I have to say and the guys the most important thing for me to report to you and tell you my thinking that this is the five colors that I already finished on this diamond painting and as you can see each color lots of drills left so obviously each color have their own amount of drills so I would say 35-40% uh, of drills left in each color so that's a huge plus of being a diamond painter reviewer so uh, at this point I definitely can recommend for you to order from the store and I do not remember if I mentioned a store it's a YZHI store on Amazon but anyway don't worry I will link it up for you um, under my video so I do happy with this as it's go each color so far left over lots of lots of drills and we will start um, today I'm gonna work with pen that came with the set of tools uh, which is one of my favorite one and three pick and I did use my three placer on this white part because it would be take me too long to do by one uh, it's kind of white strip of those white beads but they are lined up nicely so I'm just gonna check it out uh, I'm not sure if I show you guys I put my beads in this plastic container from dollar store in order from one two three and go up 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 uh, so the beads that I already finished right now because this is little diamond painting and I know I did not miss any symbols on my canvas I just put them on the back on the very back and just continue so I think we're gonna pick today this bright color to work a little bit together and this is number two we have here symbol B and I'm gonna show you how I work just gonna put wax away I think I have enough of this um, right now I put wax only in one pen one pick uh, we're not gonna work with three we're just gonna have some fun and I'm using a tray they came with the kit as well so let's get start and we will drill a little bit together and I think um, I will be posting maybe a video separately um, uh, guys just a little bit tip before I forget when I pull out my color to work I don't put back in here when I work I put this beads aside and this one I keep separately so I don't forget uh, which DMC color in here and not mixing them with different if I forgot in case what kind of symbol I was doing so yes I always keep this separately on a table so I know what I'm working with so let's straighten them up go first back and forth because round one drills have a tendency to jump out and then just get the little push and you have uh, lines okay so this is how I work I peel one side like this keep my tray on the cover so it's my hands and I think we should zoom 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 so we can see what we're doing right okay so you can see my tray and my hands on the cover in a clear sheet and we're gonna place our drills because this canvas is plastic as you can see it's kinda bouncy but that's okay I love the quality of the glue on this canvas guys 
It looks to me like a pore glue, so there's no creases or air bubbles at all. When I finish this diamond painting, we will do together line up those beads by using those tools to straighten lines. So I will do that in a separate video. We're gonna strain them up and then we're gonna roll them and then we're gonna do the full report on beads if I did run out in case for something or all good. But as right now, so far what I can tell you that I do recommend the store because I really like so far what I see. And round drills are so easy to do. See, because I'm keeping my tray so close to my symbols, it's pretty fast. I don't use all my arm, just the wrist back and forth and that's make me work fast place beads and I just barely touch them I do not put any pressure on my hand and you don't squeeze your pen too hard just nice and lightly you don't have to squeeze it's really easy to do just remember to relax and not to be aggressive by holding your pen and hurt your wrist. Look how fast we're doing. Yoda. I never watched this movie. I don't know. So many people crazy about it. And I don't really care. Can you believe it? Don't hate me for that. I'm just not the Star Wars person. Somebody requested video before by asking me. I just don't remember where um, that was asked on my Facebook group or on my YouTube channel how I edit my video little clips and put them together so uh, this video is already up on my channel so if you don't know how to add your clips together in one movie uh, one video please check out that video it's already playing on my channel I just can't remember right now who asked me so if you are my subscriber I hope you saw the video and it's help for you Clear sheet, it's another aspect that I really, really like in diamond painting because I work by the colors, so it's so nice and helpful to see where those col colors are and that clear sheet is a big help for me. I cannot stand the covers that I cannot see my drilling area. That's how I work. I just push forward, open a little bit more, and don't worry the area that exposed right now a little bit. Your glue not gonna dry out this fast. This is really good tacky glue and will be safe if it's exposed to the air for now while you're drilling. Because you will cover this diamonds really fast. 
this is not big canvas So from this set of tools and diamond canvases I like pretty much everything besides the blue tray it's good to keep for something else not to put drills on and drill because it's really hard later to take them out of the tray so I definitely would keep that for like to put pans so it stays away from the laying on a table flat and put some like a negative or maybe a little bit damaged pieces on it and I do not like the orange stylist it's too thin and uh, obviously I like to work with one or three multiplacer is not for me and I kinda never recommend for anybody because it doesn't make your lines nice and straight unless later on you're gonna use those awesome straightening tools they will even up your um, diamonds but it's gonna work only for round drills which this canvas is round drills for square one the straightener is not gonna work after as I do for round one because there's no gaps between square drills so it's not possible to get between them Do you have any questions for me guys? Do you want to know something or request? Thank you so much for those who hop on my beauty channel and watch me, Catherine, my little girl, my BFF. She was doing my hair we had such a good time but day was short I cannot believe we planned so much and we didn't do much because they gone so much fun I mean they gone so much fast it just because we have lots of fun so they gone and it's like oh my god we didn't do even half we did my hair, Catherine's hair, and then Catherine decided to do Sherry's makeup, which I supposed to do makeup for her, but she's a little girl, she's feisty. She said, uh-uh, makeup, it's my duty. I'm gonna do makeup on Sherry. So she did a pretty good job. She's only 10, but she loved to do makeup sometimes when we go out she always wants to do my makeup what a beautiful and by the magic snap of the fingers we already done with this yellow pretty color and that's made our pretty highlight on the face of Yoda and guys again I have lots of lots of beads left over that's really make me happy and it's really lots of beads left um no not the snap of the finger but you know guys what happened I forgot to recharge my battery and I recorded uh, yesterday lots of videos and I forgot to recharge battery overnight so that's what happened I just had to stop and while battery recharging a little bit I did uh, finish yellow color and we're gonna continue next highlight color a little bit darker this gorgeous 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 green like a well I don't know it's just beautiful color 
so I'm gonna put this one away as we done I'm gonna bring camera a little bit close to the canvas and we will work right now on T I believe number three we have yes it's a symbol trying to find it there T okay so let me see where is the most well I guess we're gonna continue like right in here I see a whole bunch of T's maybe a little bit up okay is it focusing good for you guys or no it feels like it's a little bit foggy okay I think it's good okay so let's try again and hopefully this time we will be okay okay this one area have to make sure I'm on camera guys and sorry about that I just really have to remember to charge my batteries and battery life I think it's over like two hours something if you record straight because when my girlfriend was here we recorded four times I think half an hour or something 23 minutes so it's around two hours or so and uh, my battery need to be kind of recharged look how pretty this green color I love it so as so far guys I do really love this diamond painting lots of bits left over and I believe that it's going to be every color like this left so I do want to say that Natalia is a proof and you definitely can order from this seller so I think this is what I think and tell me if this is bad idea or not um, originally I thought I'm gonna do VIP I always say VIP it's WIP work in progress uh, to drill a little bit with you guys together and then I thought I will upload the video and after I finish do I will shoot separate video to give you like full review and show you how this diamond painting will look like on the end and then we can see all the beads how much we have left if you have any problems because sometimes it could be everything smooth smooth but then you continue work and could be some problems occur so what I think I'm gonna make this video longer and I will finish this diamond painting by myself later on and then I come back and edit all those pieces together which gonna be um, this pieces that we drill together and then it's gonna be um, uh, we will do a full fix of the canvas with the straightener because I really want to show you how the tool work and I love it when I do that I kind of I feel how beads have like pushed and you can feel how they straighten up it's kind of interesting feeling and I want to do that together with you so I just gonna make this video longer and I hope you will like it instead of another video of finished project so this video gonna be like work in progress drill with me and um, let's like fix together and finish full review so what you think I think that would be good so we don't have to jump many times on the same video uh, I just brother make it a little bit longer episode but cover everything at once because guys I just received while well, I charged my battery I just received big package my wonderful mailman brought my package to my door he's awesome 
so I treat my people as well good so the Christmas or Easter I always give give him a gift something could be a gift card to Tim Hortons or something else I brought Ballroom from Cuba this time I give him as a present as well because he was taking care of my mail while I wasn't here so I really really love my community here awesome people so if you want to be treated good, treat other people good, right? And as I work with this pen, as I said before, this is my favorite pen. And I'm glad that the store put this pen into the kit of tools. And the only thing I would suggest um, to use grippy on it to soften up for your fingers because I believe we don't have a do we have it okay I can't remember now do we have a grips on that tool I don't think so uh, and I think let me just pick a bow I think I just place on the wrong see yes instead of T I place on a V and that's why it's so good because we can move these beads around easy it's a forgivable canvas okay girl see what you're doing with me tack 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 and I wonder okay here is a T and this is we we're gonna move this one as well to here and what's up there okay this is right now when I watch later video if I forgot something but it's really doesn't matter it's still gonna be look good and be working on Yoda's face second color to highlight okay right there so yes please watch out for my Next unboxing video because it's something exciting. Big package. And the other day I did some damage on AliExpress. I ordered some stuff on $75 this time. Because I love shopping. Everything I order already, everything sent, shipped out, except just one item for now. I order vacuum dust picker for my gel nails when I do my nail design. Really make a mess. So vacuum dust catcher is a must have. Alright, so not to make this video too, too long, I'm just going to finish with you this little part. And then I'm going to drill by myself. Uh, maybe we'll bring you back with some other beautiful colors so we can drill a little bit together more. Uh, or it's going to be finished canvas so you can see how they look like. Because you guys don't like when I speed up video which I never did speed up because you never wanted so I do listen to you and I like to do just what you request from me all right so I will go continue guys now by myself I have this highlight green color in here around his like a sword and then I will continue with the other color brightest I would go next one with the next maybe like L uh, or D it's pretty much same background but it's a same background guys but look how clearly you can see uh, how to work like L 
ND. Same background, but it's really, really visible. The quality of this can canvas is flawless because of the poor glue. There's zero, zero creases or bubbles in the glue on the canvas. So really love to work on this canvas and I do have the other one and I, I gonna link it up for you my unboxing just for in case you are new to my channel you did not see my unboxing there is another character up there uh, from Star, War Star and there was an eagle beautiful that I wanna do so I will link it up for you and I guys come back and we're gonna continue our full review and fix those uh, drills together just for in case if they a little bit crooked I will show you how to use the tools so I see you later I'm so happy to tell you guys I am done uh, my handsome dude like I uh, like I tell call him a uh, Yoda it's finished and look at this first one I want to report to you guys that every single color lots of lots of beads left every single one so that is a good sign already right we love when we have lots of beads left so i'm really happy about this and now i'm gonna show you how this diamond paint to look like finish we put those beads away and then gonna flip it and look at this I think he look fantastic even its size uh, state in here that is 30 by 40 but it is um, this canvas particular uh, will be um, smaller than 40 by 30 it's gonna be 35 by I mean 25 by 35 because I believe it's measured together with the borders um, So anyway, I think even for this kind of little canvas I Think the de details is really really good. What are you saying? I think it's gorgeous and guys don't walk away because we are gonna take this diamond painting outside because I think every sparkle deserve to be seen so we will go on the sunshine and we will see how he look like so what I gonna do now it's gonna be sideways for you so I will be um, comfortable for me to do we're gonna do next step and I did not do without you we're gonna continue to use tools that came together and um, I will use the bigger one so I will start like from my last row between two last one and I just put flat between beads and I go up and then next row I go down and this way I will do a whole canvas and it's kind of I would say satisfaction to feel under my fingers have those drills moving to the side and line up in a straight straight line so this is how i gonna do each line vertical then i will switch and do same thing horizontal so i don't know it's gonna be a long time watching for you but this is what i gonna do to whole canvas and the good news news is that it's really easy to do with round drills and talking about round drills i will be pointed out something else for you that i'm really happy about this canvas so far so far i can definitely guys uh, i can recommend for you this store because i'm really happy with the image I'm really happy with amount of drills that left over uh, I did not have any like damaged beads I had few of them that has like a, a little bit of plastic on the bottom but I mean from so many drills left over 
you can definitely can pick the best beats to place and still left with lots of extras that maybe sometimes you will miss an out on some other of your uh, canvas that you receive from other website and you have a short on drills so this will definitely will save you because I have lots and lots left so I hope you're gonna be happy with this and I will do this to the end and then I come back and show you my next step because this is gonna be a long boring video for you if you're gonna continue watching me do this line by line so I did vertical whole canvas already and now I'm doing the same thing horizontal for me all those lines it looks like it's a lot because you have to go each line but because this tool are wide enough like big long one it go really fast and line up beads really nicely you just with little pressure you don't have to damage glue on there just like this up and down up and down and your canvas is going to be so perfect so I really love this tool guys it's one of my favorite right now and it's not just to line up the beads also it's nice to uh, fix if your canvas has the sheet cover wrinkle up so this is like nice to smooth it out with okay so I'm gonna do this all the way and maybe we can see it's go fast so I don't know if I should just pause video or you should just rewind video a little bit further Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna straighten up this piece. It just left like um, less than half of the canvas. So I will do this after camera. So next, what I wanna do, I'm gonna put cover sheet on the top, and then I'm gonna roll with this tool. That another favorite tool just to make sure my beads all stick together not together but stick tightly to the glue in both directions done now what else I want to show you guys in here and this is really something that I just kind of I really like about this canvas. So if I can zoom close to the canvas as much as I can, we will see that you know when you have round beads, your beads has like holes Oh guys, at the same time, can you see how nice and straight those lines are? That's how that tool is so awesome. And what what is caught my eyes in here, and I'm really, really happy about this canvas, that under each color, absolutely each color, canvas have coordinating colors with DMC code. So wherever you look on any color, there's supposed to be, you can see the canvas behind um, beads because the all corners is open, right? After round beads. But you cannot see them in here. It looks almost like a square diamond painting because of the colors underneath. And it's every, every color. For example, white one, it's pure white color under then go different shade of yellow and it's each color on the canvas match perfect perfect match to these drills and that's why this diamond painting looks so amazing I love it 
you cannot even tell that this is around drills guys so I really really love this diamond painting and I totally suggest you to check out that store that I will link it up for you and now just to you know to have a little bit of sparkles on the end those beautiful moments I will take this diamond painting outside and we will see how this canvas looks on the sunshine right now it's a really beautiful sunny day outside so I will take you for some extra sparkles let's go okay not sure how much we're gonna see sparkles I hope we will because it is beautiful sunny day outside I just need to catch right angle so we can see the beads how shiny they are and this diamond painting looks really really pretty um, let me zoom a little bit close to the canvas you can see how the sparks moving looks beautiful I think his face are so nice and details still the sparkle look how awesome his face like the details are so good for this size of canvas and sparkles of course is amazing I love it so I think you can appreciate all this goodness His face is awesome. For such a little canvas size, I think he looks gorgeous. Well, how gorgeous. He is kind of grumpy, old, funky guy, but the details on this canvas is really, really good. So please check it out their website. It's a store on Amazon. And I will link it up to this canvas. And I hope you like this diamond painting and thank you for watching